hello everyone welcome back to my channel this video is going to be a chit chat video on how my phone is becoming an idol so let's get straight into it so a few months ago i think i did a video on um, a prayer series and how it was important to pray in the morning and all that kind of stuff and i wanted to do this video to let you guys know that you know my prayer life is not on fleek and i also struggle with a lot of things as well and also my relationship with god i wanted to open up to you guys and tell you that you know it's not a hundred percent perfect okay because when you continue to watch a lot of my videos you might think that oh she hears from god like every single day or she sees a lot of things now nah, it's not a hundred percent perfect i still struggle like for example in the morning when you wake up in the morning you're supposed to pray to god first and to thank him for allowing you to see another day but instead of me to pray in the morning what am i doing I'm on my phone, checking my Instagram account, checking my Facebook account, ch checking my Twitter account, and checking YouTube. And then my mind is telling me, look, you're supposed to start praying. And then I'm like, oh yeah, just, just give me two minutes, you know, I'll hurry up, just two minutes. And then I come across something that I like, or I've seen a video that I wanted to watch, and then I start watching it. And before you know it, it's six o'clock, I need to get into the bathroom and start dressing up and go to work. And then when I go out, when I go out of the house, I realize that, oh, you know, I should have prayed first because I feel like you can kind of sense a difference in the morning when you pray before you go out. But when you don't pray before you go out, you kind of feel something is different throughout the whole day. I don't know if you guys can relate, relate to me on that. Or sometimes if my phone is switched on and I'm reading my Bible and then like a message comes through or maybe someone calls me and then I get distracted and then instead of me to go back to reading the Bible, I start thinking about the conversation that I had or the image that I saw and then before you know it, I've closed my Bible and then I've gone on to do something else. And that really does affect your relationship with God. I mean, obviously, we're supposed to communicate to God every day and we do communicate to Him. Like if you're stuck in a situation, you're like, God help me, you're still communicating to God. But you have to have time for him as well just like the way if you get into a physical relationship with someone you create time to see them you create time to talk to them and when you're with them and um, you're not really on your phone because you just want to be with them you don't want any outsiders to be coming inside this relationship like you just want to spend time with them one-on-one -on -one. and that's how it should be with God but unfortunately these days I feel like our phones is like the biggest distraction from having a relationship with God. I even know it's like in church, like personally, I don't do this. I normally bring my Bible to church. I noticed that a lot of people would be on their phone. My pastor's, my pastor's preaching and they're checking their Facebook, they're checking their Twitter, sending them reply messages. And I feel like that is the highest level of disrespect to God. Like all you, the only time you're in church, you should be given those three, five hours in church to God let God get your full attention like the purpose of going to church is not to chat to someone or to go on your phone is to worship him is to praise him and instead of us doing that well I don't really do this but a lot of people end up going on their phones and then they come out and they're wondering you know why am I going through this why my prayer is not being answered because you don't even respect the temple church is a place where you come in to respect to praise and to worship god and to pray to him as well because it says the house of god shall be a house of prayer so i think a lot of us especially young people we've gotten to that point where we're starting to treat our phones like an idol like another god now before you start calling something a god it's not until you bow down to something that it becomes a god if that thing is becoming the first thing in your life like if you wake up in the morning and you're on the phone first thing in the morning you go to work you're on your phone before you start your shift you go to church you're on your phone you're in the car you're on your phone that means like the phone is starting to control us and we are not controlling the phone if that makes sense so the fact that it's controlling you and you can't really say no to it i can't really say we're a slave to it but we're starting to treat it like a god like throughout the whole day we're probably on our phones like minimum 10 times a day right unless if you go to work and you're doing like a nine hour shift so you're probably just on it for like maybe six hours or three 
Imagine if you were reading a Bible for that long. Like, we would be filled with the Holy Spirit, seeing loads of dreams, seeing loads of revelation, but that's not the case because this flesh doesn't want to read the Bible. This flesh doesn't like praying. This flesh doesn't want to know more of God's word. This flesh is consumed with things of the world. So that's why a lot of us, our relationship with God sometimes is normally shaken. It's not always where it should be, but we are going to work towards it in Jesus' name. So let me give you guys a definition of idol. An idol is an image or representation of a God used as an object of worship okay so i'm just looking at the internet um on my laptop here one thing i had to say to myself was that i have to learn to control this one i can't let this phone control me and one of the things that i'm trying to do now one of the rules that i'm setting out for myself now is that when it's like 10 o'clock at night i try to turn the wi-fi off so from 10 to like whatever time in the midnight or in the night time I try to give that time to God because I find that when, when the Wi-Fi is on, to be honest, the only reason this phone is starting to become like a God is because of Wi-Fi. If there was no Wi-Fi in these phones, these phones would be useless because these days nobody cares about calling or texting, everyone's just on social media. So when my Wi-Fi is on, I try my best possible to read my Bible and to pray and to spend time with God. And then early in the morning, oh, sometimes I just try to stay away from the phone. Or if I want to just play like a gospel music or worship music in the morning, I'll put it on in the morning and I will try and pray. I tell you, some days, yeah, especially during the winter time when it's really, really cold and you just want to stay in bed, it is a struggle to get up and pray. Like, the spirit is willing, but the flesh just doesn't want to do it. And it's like a battle in the morning. And sometimes what I find really funny, I don't know whether I'm the only one that experiences is that if I'm up late at night and I'm watching a movie and the chances are if I'm watching a movie really really late at night, I probably don't feel like praying so I just sleep straight away. And maybe I just had a bad dream, like a really bad dream. Then I get up in the midnight and then I start praying and I start praying and I and I'll just say to myself like, why didn't I just pray this type of prayer before going to bed? If I pray this type of prayer before going to bed, maybe I wouldn't have this bad dream in the midnight. But because I've had this bad dream now, all of a sudden, I, I, I want to pray. All of a sudden, there's no excuses to pray. You just get up and pray. And it shouldn't really be like that. We should try and cultivate prayer and make it a habit. Make it an everyday thing. And I know it's not really hard, to be honest. It's not hard. If you want to do it, you'll do it. No matter what. If you say to myself, if you say to yourself, you know what, today I'm going to pray, you're going to do it. But if you're saying it with your mouth, but your heart is still like, mm, maybe, maybe not, you look for all the excuses in the world not to pray. And as a Christian, prayer is really, really important. Like Muslims pray like, what, five times a day? Oh, goodness sake, like we Christians, we come up with so much excuses. Bible says we should try and pray without season. So me sitting down here talking to you guys, my prayer life is not on fleek. My relationship with God is not like 100% where it should be. Yes, I have a relationship with God. Yes, I communicate to God and God also communicates with me. But at the same time, just like the way you're working on your relationship with God, I'm working on my relationship with God. And my advice to you guys is do not let this phone become an idol. Do not let this phone become a mini God. This phone should not control us. We should be able to control this phone. And one thing I would um, advise you guys is that when you're in the presence of God, try and turn the Wi-Fi off. You know, and if someone's calling you, don't pick it up because this is God's time. Do you know what I mean? Like, he's the reason why you're still living. He's the reason why you're still breathing. So basically, whoever is calling you at that time is just not relevant. You know, whether it's your boyfriend, your mom, whatever, just leave it. If the, if the, if the call is important, the person will call you back or you'll call them back. But when it's God's time, let it be God's time. And also, when it comes to church, like, please try and bring your Bible. I know you can get your Bible on the phone and on the tablet, but let's be real. A lot of you are still checking your Facebook messages, your Instagram messages, your Twitter messages, and it's really disrespectful. Like, if you're in the Queen's house or in the palace, 
you're not gonna talk to the queen and at the same time you're, you're looking at stuff on your phone so if we can't even do that to human beings who are in high in in high position then why then would we do it for god i think it's really really disrespectful just buy a bible it doesn't cost that much like you spend all the money on makeup clothes shoes designer bags a bible is a as a lifetime thing so invest in a bible carry your bible bring your bible to church and that is it for this video i hope you guys enjoy this video and i just want you guys to know that you know my relationship with god is not like a hundred percent where it should be i'm working on myself god is also working in me and i hope he's working in you and i hope that you also develop a relationship with god so until my next video guys stay blessed and stay beautiful bye